friends, you ladies, my name is JackSeptGuy and welcome to something called Moirai. I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I went on Twitter recently and I was like, oh my god, I have no idea what to play. There's no games to play. Because normally I write down like a list of games and this thing. And then I went through them all and I was searching around I was like, I have no idea what to play today. So when I, when I tweeted out that, a lot of people suggested this. And I, I had never heard about this before at all. But it came out a while ago and it was out on Steam and it's free to play. But what was weird is that it's like extremely highly rated. So I don't know what this is. Um, press start, press space to start. And it looks really crude, so... I don't know, I guess we'll see. Oh god. It reminds me of like when I started... YouTube, playing like really old pixelated games. Like, I'm scared. I love that game. Hello. Talk to priest. My prayers go out for poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she is grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It's the house to the right as you leave town. That one? Okay, let's talk to everybody else. Talk to the boy. Need to stay close to mama, otherwise she'll worry that we've run off. Okay, Mama, how's it going? You are a great looking lady! You look marvelous! I really love that blue, uh, curtain that you're wearing. Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boys out of my sight. Are you saying she's a bad mother? Why is me a Pokemon for some reason? Like, that I can only move in four directions? Or not in more four directions, what am I saying? <laughs> Sometimes daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. You got any sheep around? Okay, I'm going into these houses first. Hello? Wow. What great um, dwellings you have here. Talk to chef. It looks like a lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm if you get the chance. Spend some time with the animals. Hell yeah, I will, dude. Do you have a secret chamber or anything? Your bed is just... A flat 2 texture on a wall. <laughs> How do you sleep on that? Okay. So far, so ordinary. Talk to boy. I heard there is gold in the cave, but I'm too scared to enter. They say there's a little boy that haunts over your shoulder. Oh, is that the boy that Julia lost? Is this gonna have some sort of weird, sick, twisted ending? Because everything's been set up all nice. You said on the right on the way as you leave town. Maybe it's actually outside further. Hello, little girl. My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. They should be home soon. This game is full of people who are gone missing. Look at the bookshelf. There's a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband, and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Didn't you say I should visit Julia at her house? She's not here, bro. Julia's not home? Maybe she is out by the farm. If you could find her, that would be appreciated. I don't know why I make all priests, like, super overly stereotypically Irish. To the farm! Okay, let's go to the farm. Maybe this is just, like, a really, really good game. <laughs> farm. Okay, thanks. I was heading to the farm, and now I'm at the farm. Sheepsies! Ah, <coughs> oh, they're so fucking cute. I love sheep! Have any of you out there ever petted a real sheep? They're so cute and so soft and so nice. Hello. The door is locked. Well, thanks. <coughs> I love sheep. Except sometimes they get really dirty and their wool gets all clumped together with muck. That's not very nice. Hello, dude! To the cave! Hello, lumberjack. What you up to? You look like a gnome. My brother and I are out chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you go check on him? There's a lantern behind you at the sump. Okay, pick up the lantern. Look at my little hand! Ah, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> right, okay. There's like every person I talked to was like, this person's gone missing. Can you go look for them? I'm scared now. Go to the cave. Are you a horror game? Hi. Hey, you come over here. 
Did my brother send you? Bless him. The moans are coming from further down. I'd, I'd go in, but my sight's no good. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. God, now I have a knife and a... Ugh, there's a rat in the corner. Or is that a pigeon or a rock? Okay. Why do I need a knife? I'm hearing heartbeats. Don't jump scare me! What's happening? Where am I going? Hello? Look at tools. There's some tools leaning against the wall. It looks as though they've been used to mark carvings on the wall. It's showing me like days. There's a book on top of this pedestal. It's labeled Farmers. There is a list of names inside. Hudson, Cole, and Rich. Darren. How eerie. Ooh, I don't like this! Is that the amount of farmers you've killed? Oh, this is creepy! The music is really unsettling now as well. I'm going this way. And then I'll go back the other way. Am I gonna run into something? Oh, skeleton bones. Someone must have died here. The bones look as though they've been... They're a child's. Look into the hole. I can see something shiny. It's just out of my reach. Can I go in? I keep waiting to like turn around and see or, like somebody's going to be there. Okay. Can I not like use my knife or something? I got a, I got a knife and a lantern, but for some reason I can't look into the hole and dig out something that's apparently shiny in there. Okay, now I'm going this way. Hello? What? I just heard somebody making noises. Oh, I hate this. Oh, hi! Who are you? You have a lantern and a knife too. A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why do you have a knife? I heard moans. What have you done? He has a lantern and a knife just like me! To stab your ugly eyes! Why do you have blood on your overalls? I have bloody diarrhea and there was no toilet nearby. I heard moans, what have you done? I have masturbated and spread my cum over the dead body of a strange. What? Let them pass. Alright, I will let you go. What? The absolute fuck is happening? Is he gonna chase me? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm like weirded out now. Oh, it went all pleasant and pixelated, and now it's really horrible. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that a woman? Er, please help me. I am in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia, and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold and then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me. Then he disappeared. Everyone in the town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell him them the truth. One day my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? No, I'm going to get help! Then leave me, you coward. Woman spurts blood at you. Am I the guy who just left? What? No, I'm covered in blood. Am I going to run into a dude here? Okay, no. Can I go get the golden nugget now? And it's me! A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Is 
that what somebody else said when they played the game? This is like another player. Like not real time, but it's another player. So it's like when you have blood in your overalls. So what the answers I got back were something somebody else said before. A lady spit at me. Why do you have a knife? To cut some bread. I heard moans, what have you done? Oh my god, this is awesome! I was warming up. Let me see what will happen to you. And that is where the story shall end, at least for now. It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate, just as you chose for the previous player. Oh my god! So, the guy who I met on the way out was another player. Not, not in real time, at least I don't think so. No, it wouldn't have been real time. It was another player who had gone through the game already, came back out, gave me those answers. Then I went in, found him, came back out, found another player coming in to give him my answers. Oh! Jack, what is your email address? Okay, I'm gonna put this in. But it needs to be blurred. You will be emailed about your fate. Thank you for playing. Press escape to submit your details. Do you want to exit? Yes. Oh my god! That was awesome! Holy fuck! Now I know why people wanted me to play it or suggested it. And why the game has such a high rating. That was awesome! That was an insanely cool idea. I've never seen something like that done before in a game. Really takes advantage of the medium as well. Because there's not many other mediums that can involve the people as well. It's very meta. Like when you're going in and coming back out, so... The guy as he was coming back out before, he must have refused to help the lady too. Or to kill the lady. He must have, like, refused her and went to get help and she spit blood at him. So he came back out. Why did he not tell the truth though? That's so weird. I wonder if the emails are still going around. That's so awesome. Oh, absolutely astonished. Really enjoy that. That was super cool. I wish it kind of went on a bit longer or kind of poked at it a bit more. Because now it's like the main story that happened with the girl and the, the boy and the father and all that kind of stuff is kind of in the back burner because now all I can think about is how it played me against another player. Oh. That was so cool. I'm so glad I didn't know anything about that going in either. Like I just went in and it was a really weird looking game. And then you play to the end and it's like, holy fucking shit. Oh, super cool. Oh, I wish more games were like this. If you have any other games that are kind of like this, or fuck with your head or anything like that, or are one off, really trippy experiences, please. I am so open to these. I love these types of games. These types of games like showcase what gaming can be. The fact that like somebody out there played it, and then I played it. It's like just that meta commentary of meeting players in the game at the same time without it being like an openly multiplayer thing. I love that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss and I face on road. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys. Now we'll see all you dudes. I can see your nips. Oh, they're gross. Lord, can you put a shirt on? Am I wearing a shirt? Okay, tap my gloves to start the match. Ding ding! What's up? What's up? You wanna go? Well, I didn't get an email, so I don't know if my character lived or died. Aw oh, man, it was cool though.